Hi guys, it's Alex, the module leader for advertising for digital and experience. This module is a 20 credit module and it will be running from the 30th of September to the 16th of December, your submission date. Feedback will be returned to you by the 25th of January 2023, allowing for 20 working days and the Christmas break. If you do require this document in Welsh, just give us an email and we will get that over to you. So yeah, so at the moment Lee is still the module contact for this module, so here's his email and number. We are timetabled for every Friday 1 till 4pm in room CAD302. And let's get into the content summary. So this module provides you with the opportunity to explore the necessary tools, techniques, skills and language required in the production of creative advertising outcomes for digital and experience. So you will explore vocabulary of narrative, sequence and sound alongside exploring the principles of interactivity and navigation through the exploration of various case studies. So we'll break all of this down in our first lecture but you will produce a detailed proposal for a campaign in response to a set brief working to certain constraints for example audience, location and timing. So as previously stated, yeah, this is a 20 credit module and the rationale. So in recent years, the nature of the established advertising formats of print, radio and broadcast have been changed. But where some in the industry see a threat, others see opportunities to engage with customers and to communicate with audiences in new and exciting ways. So this might include, at the time of writing, product placement, celebrity endorsement, social media and online video, but this area is moving so quickly that what is current today may be obsolete tomorrow. This raises a lot of questions about ethics and legal issues, about what constitutes advertising at all. So this module provides an opportunity to explore some of these by developing the knowledge of a selection of these aspects. It also focuses on the recently emerged area of experience design and the impact this has on advertising strategies from retail design to pop-up activities. So new technologies often require the application of specialist skills however as advertising designers and creatives there is an ex expectation that students develop an understanding of the principles of navigation interactivity and non-linear sequences in order to develop appropriate creative content in the future. <clears throat> so now moving on to your brief. So create a creative experiential campaign for a Rugby World Cup 2023 sponsor of your choice. So you will need to create an experiential integrated campaign to attract a specific audience to your chosen brand while working towards increasing brand awareness and loyalty. So we will break this down further. Um, your submission date is the 16th of December, uploaded on UniLearn, and feedback returned 25th of January 2023. So this project is your creative work for the semester, and as defined, it is in total 100% of your overall grade for this module. And yeah, yet again, you have some key dates for you to remember. So formative assessment, presentation of your initial ideas will commence on the 4th of November. And then the final hand in December the 16th on UniLearn. Right, so now we come to choosing your brand. So you will work to create a detailed proposal for an experience-based integrated campaign for a Rugby World Cup 2023 sponsor of your choice. So pick one of the following, these are the Rugby World Cup sponsors and you will pick one to engage rugby fans during the Six Nations in February 2023 ahead of the World Cup in September 2023. So your choice of sponsors include the Land Rover Defender, Mastercard, Emirates, Asahi and Capgemini. So I'd recommend taking a look at all of these before we meet next week and 
just getting a feel for what they do and some initial ideas on which sponsor you would like to choose really. Next we need to consider the target audience. So the target audience you choose will be informed by your research. Are you going to target the existing key demographics within Welsh rugby fans or are you going to create a campaign targeting an underrepresented and disengaged demographic? Indicate why you have chosen this group and why it is the correct choice for the brand. So we will go in depth into target audiences and demographics and we'll do some work on picking your target audience for this campaign. So the tone of voice, you will indicate the tone of voice. This should be appropriate for both the brand you have chosen and the target audience. So yeah. The mandatory requirements, you must produce a research and development portfolio containing a detailed proposal for a creative experiential campaign with the appropriate amount of research for a campaign of this size. Remember you were marked 25% on your research so please don't understate the importance of research. So you must include conceptual ideas for an experience based campaign three to four elements of an integrated campaign to support the experiential so this could include social or digital element obviously we'll discuss all of this in depth and the potentials but you also need to include a connective theme or tagline that connects all aspects of the integrated campaign which could be potentially a hashtag or something along those lines and then a relevant primary and secondary research and analysis into current experiential and out of home campaigns, evaluating locations and potential spaces for an experiential campaign and potential issues and challenges, your target audience and reasoning for media choices. So yeah, the deliverables for this are professionally presented executions and ideas hand in on the 16th of December you must include a creative campaign of integrated media, everything we've just gone through basically, and a lot of research and development of ideas. I don't just want to see the outcome, I want to see how you got there. So yeah, research on your chosen brand, if there is a product, the media you have chosen and how they will reach your target audiences. <coughs> Sorry. You will also discuss your target audience in detail, including a consumer profile and a suggested theme or tagline. So your assessment item then will be a PDF format on the 16th as we've already stated and it's a journal evaluating several recent and current campaigns in the digital and experience domains, a detailed proposal for an experience based advertising campaign in response to a set brief. <coughs> So this module aims to explore the challenges and potential for advertising using digital spaces, investigate the concept of experience-based advertising, consider the development of advertising as old media give way to new, evaluate current campaigns to understand how they work or might be improved, and discuss the potential issues that arise through advertising in new media. So as you'll see, in a moment through the scheme of work we'll be having sessions on things like old media, new media, experience based, digital, so we will meet all of the module aims there. You'll be involved in three types of learning which is contact with your lecturer and supported hours, study outside of the class as directed by the lecturer, so directed learning, and then study at your own initiative. And while we understand that many of you may have jobs and may need to take on paid work, just think carefully before committing to anything too time consuming, such as extracurricular activities, as you don't want your studies to suffer. If you do need help with anything, please don't hesitate to come to me though, okay? The learning outcomes. The first one is to analyse the key features, challenges and opportunities of leading digital platforms for advertising and to understand and evaluate a location-based advertising experience supported, supported rather by digital media. And I'm sure you're aware of the key skills, but you will be using a range of communication methods, so inquiry and analysis, problem solving, 
digital skills, working with others and employability. And you're expected to take great care in the presentation and delivery of your work. Presentation is definitely a skill, so you need to be professional and take ownership over your work. Please remember to clearly label every piece of work that you hand in and all work must be your own as plagiarism is handled under the strictest of university protocols and it can result in withdrawal. So here we have the assignment submission and deliverables dates again. Just to reiterate, you will have a formative assessment on the 4th of November and your final hand in will be 16th of December. Your assignment must be submitted within the submission date stated and in accordance to the location and method required. Failure to submit your assignment on time without mitigating circumstances will result in a penalty and will be classed as a late submission. These may be submitted within five working days of the original submission date and you will be capped at 40% and it's advised that if you are late submitting you take the full five day period if you are struggling. Late submissions after the five working day period with no mitigating circumstances will be left graded at zero and if you do have extenuating circumstances please seek the advice of the faculty shop immediately. You can also discuss any issues or problems with me or Lee but it is not essential. But please come to me if you need any extra support okay. And here we've come to the assessment criteria. So each of these is weighted 25% of the overall grade and will be considered, uh, you will need to show evidence of considering these in your learning outcomes. So first we have research. Students will be expected to undertake exploratory and dynamic research and you need to sign demonstrate initiative and critical reflection which is important and there's an expectation that students will edit their research making rational decisions for inclusion. Then we come to the analysis so students will be expected to demonstrate and understanding of the issues and debates raised in the module. Development you will need to identify three to five key insights from the research and develop these into your final ideas. We'll go through all of this in your feedback sessions. And then the outcome. So obviously the outcome is the submission and you will be expected to produce creative solutions that show evidence of risk, ambition and originality. Um, there we go, and you need to submit these in the required format and to a professional standard. <clears throat> I'm sure you're all aware of the uh, assessment definitions, but feedback is the essential element of the learning process. It's more than just a justification for a mark. We'll be giving you feedback throughout, informal and formal feedback. And feedback will be motivational and encourage you to improve on your learning. Formative and summative assessments. So the summative method leans towards the assessment of your learning. So that will be your submission at the end. And the formative will be at the halfway mark. We'll be going through your learning so far and basically giving you constructive feedback and peer review, basically to help you move forward towards meeting the assessment criteria and submitting work that is the best of your ability. Here we have the assessment matri matrix rather. And it shows obviously all of the marks and you will need 40% to pass up to 80 to 100 which is outstanding and then all of this is marked through the research, analysis, development and outcome. So I highly recommend you take a look at this and as you're working through your development of ideas and working on your uh, submission for the 16th please refer back to this. I can't stress enough how important this is in ensuring that you meet the criteria. If you need any extra help, please contact me or contact Lee and we will book a tutorial time. There's also extra support through student services 
and things like the software support, software surgery. So please take a look at this and contact me if you need any help with signposts for extra support. And here we have the reading list for this module. So it would be recommended that you take a look at this before we start. <coughs> and there will be several chances for you to evaluate your experiences throughout this module on the loop system. I'm sure you're all aware of the loop system already and familiar with it, but we will go through it at the correct time anyway. And now we've come to the scheme of work for this module. Uh, please ensure that you attend on time for all taught sessions. It's a mark of respect to fellow students and the team and ensures that you don't miss anything vital. I can't stress this enough because we will be going through all of the elements of the required submission in all of your sessions. So as you can see here, our time is 1 till 4 on Friday. First week we'll be unpacking the module and the brief and looking at what is digital and experience. We'll also have some time to look at a good practice for this module and how the next 12 weeks will work. Week two then we will be looking at using digital and experience as part of an integrated campaign and then you will have a task of critically evaluating campaigns using SWOT analysis which we will go into on week two and then week three we will review the exercises of the critical evaluation and we will be looking at does the rise of digital mean the fall of traditional. Then week four we look at psychographics, target audiences and creating a customer persona. We will also look at how to conduct research primary and secondary so this will be a really important session. Week five, we will look at digital and experience case studies. And I mean, the case studies are really important because you can look at ways to evaluate and include these in your own work. And then week six is the formative assessment and presentation of all work to date. And we will discuss a primary research task for uh, your brief. And then week seven will be creating a critical path and actioning on your feedback. I can't stress enough how important it is to uh, work on time management so this session we will basically be looking at where you need to be in week 12 and what you need to do to get there. And then weeks 8, 9, 10 and 11 is uh, digital and experience case studies then critical path review and some more feedback and then studio sessions, tutorials we will be working on the completion of your submission ahead of the 16th, which is the hand-in. As I've already said, I'll be giving you constant feedback throughout and as well as peer and staff feedback, it is your responsibility to record this. And yeah, I highly recommend that you take notes in our sessions and then this is the feedback sheet that we will be working to. So I'm really looking forward to starting guys and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thank you.